kids welcome to church my name is jenny colleen i hope you had a wonderful week today we are looking at the story of ruth and our memory verse is taken from psalm chapter 100 verse 4 and it says give thanks to god before we get into our lesson for the day let us pray hands together and eyes closed father we thank you for today we thank you for the gift of life we thank you for all that you've done for us lord we ask that you will help us that as daily we live that will grow in your wisdom and obey you with the whole of our heart in jesus name we pray amen amen now it's time for our praise and worship let's go enjoy dancing and then i'll come with our lesson for the day Great time of praise and worship. I hope you had fun. 
So, now I'll take our story for the day and I hope you learned something from this story and be blessed. Ruth and Naomi were moving. They were moving from Moab to Bethlehem. Ruth, my dear daughter-in-law, you do not need to move with me, said Naomi. You have lived in Moab all your life. Naomi, said Ruth, I am moving with you. When I married your son, I learned to love the same God you serve. Now my husband is dead, but I love you and I want to move with you back to Bethlehem. The two women travel on, finally reaching the town that sat up on a hill. What excitement there was in the little town when the people saw Naomi. Naomi, we are so glad to see you, said one. Naomi, it is good to see you back home, where you belong, another told her. Naomi was so glad to be back in Bethlehem, but there was the responsibility of finding food for the two of them. Naomi, don't you worry about our food, Ruth told her. It's the time of barley harvest. You have told me God's people always leave some grain standing for the poor. I will go to the field tomorrow and gather the barley that is left. Buhas owned the fields where Ruth went to pick the barley. He had heard how kind she had been to travel all the distance with Naomi and take care of her. Come and eat our food for lunch, said Buhas. You will be safe here and you may gather all the barley you need. Ruth's heart was happy because of Boaz's kindness. Thank you, thank you, she told him. That night, when Ruth told Naomi what Buhas had said, Naomi said, Ruth, let us thank God for taking care of us. Together, the two women thank God for being so good to them. Thank you, God. Thank you, Ruth said again. What has God done for you that you are thankful for? What has God done for you that you are thankful for? Remember Ruth and Naomi, they thank God for providing food for them, for helping them find favor in the sight of Bohaz. So, what have God done for you that you are thankful for? How can we show our thanks to God by obeying Him, by doing what He wants us to do, by obeying our parents, by avoiding things that hurt others, by saying good words to other people? So, that is the end of our lesson for today. Now let's go enjoy dancing and praise along with today's special song. And always, always remember to be kind to others and to thank God for everything that he has done for you. Have a wonderful week. I will see you next time. Bye. He's got the whole world. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got you and me, brother, in his hands. He's got the whole world in his hands.
Put your first, that's all I need 